Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. As many of you know, Microsoft Defender, or Windows Defender as most like to call it, is part of the Windows security found in both Windows 10 and 11 and is the default antivirus client and solution in both those operating systems. Now, I did post a video uh, in November of last year that uh, Windows Defender is one of the best antivirus products for home users and if you're running Windows 10 or 11 there is no reason to waste money on third-party antivirus software and I will leave a link to that video down below if you're interested. Now this is just a, another video regarding Windows Defender or Microsoft Defender whatever you'd like to call it that a recent test by AV Comparatives does still confirm the high detection and protection rate of uh, Microsoft Defender but unfortunately, according to uh, their test results, they say that Microsoft Defender had one of the worst offline detection rates and results. So basically, when that offline is when you have no availability to the internet and the uh, antivirus is running with no internet connection. So if we just head over to that AV Comparatives uh, test where they did the survey and these tests, and I will leave a link to this website and this, uh, these test results down below. Um, yeah, we can see that uh, uh, it rolled out and was posted on the 15th of April 2022. So that was about uh, six, seven days ago. Now, if we just uh, scroll down, yeah, we can see the tested products. And you have got basically all of your main um, antivirus products and solutions. And they say yeah, that all products were installed on a fully up-to-date 64-bit Microsoft Windows 10 systems um, products were tested at the beginning of March with default settings and using their latest updates. And then if we go down to this section here pertaining to uh, this video, offline versus online detection rates. And here is a basically a nice little uh, graph and chart giving us all those detection rates. Now, it's interesting, um, as I did mention in that uh, first video, that if we look at Microsoft here, they still have one of the best online uh, de uh, detection rates and protection rates. And basically in their tests, they only had five false alarms. Now, if we look at their offline, as mentioned, it's only 60.3% where uh, Avast is 94.2, AVG is 94.2, Avara is 96, Bit Bitdefender is 97.8. ESET 96.1 and we go down and there's only a couple here that are actually below that. So this is one of the lowest as uh, these results did uh, uh, mention. And 60.3% from Microsoft for offline detection. Yeah, is one lower. Panda 40.6 and then Trend Micro 36.1. So as I can just by looking at this chart very quickly, uh, one, two, Microsoft Defender is your third lowest offline detection when it comes to uh, detecting uh, threats offline and keeping your device safe. So when it comes to offline protection, it's not really up to par with all the other mainstream antivirus clients. But when it comes to online, yeah, we can see according to um, uh, the AV Comparatives uh, test and their results, they reporting it at 98.8% for online and 99.96% for online protection rate. So when it comes to online protection, it's still up there with the rest of them. But unfortunately, according to this test result, 60.3%, and that's quite a low percentage for offline detection and protection when it comes to not being connected to the internet. But as um, you know, many, many uh, uh, devices these days do have access to um, permanent internet connections. Um, I know there are some regions regions in the world where that is not um, that where that is not possible. And uh, the result of the offline detection test does show us how important cloud connectivity and testing is for Microsoft's security product to keep it up there with the, the rest and the best of the antivirus products and solutions. So I thought that was interesting and just wanted to let you know. And as I mentioned, I'll leave a link down below to that previous video. And I'll also leave a link to uh, the um, AV comparatives uh, tests uh, link down below to that as well, if you're interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.